visit us on onestepenglish.com. Business English Project Development Let's learn English Today, we will learn about some words or phrases that are usually used when talking about project development. We will give some examples, so you will understand each word. Deliverables It refers to something that will result from the project, like a product or report. Deliverables Here's an example. I have to go out to meet a client, and I need you to discuss the deliverables of our new project later. Sure madam. Have a safe trip. Define the scope. It means to establish limits on the area of the project. Define the scope. Here's an example. Okay, let's define the scope of this project first before planning. That's a great idea. Assemble the project team. It means putting together the group of people who will work on the project. Assemble the project team. Here's an example. I need you to assemble the project team at 3 p.m. today. All right. How many people do you need? Timeline. It refers to a schedule for finishing each part of the project. Timeline. Here's an example. I'm currently ahead of the timeline. Do you need some help? I'm good. I'm almost done too. Budget. It refers to allocated money to each part of the project. Budget. Here's an example. The budget for our new project is pretty high, right? Yeah, which is good. In-house. It means that the work is done by employees inside the company. In-house. Here's an example. As you can see at the back, those are our in-house graphic designers. That's nice. I'm really excited to start my job in here. Outsource. It means to obtain work from outside of the company. Outsource. Here's an example. We need to outsource some people to get this job done right. We already found a team, but feel free to check them out first. Cost overrun. It means spending too much money. Cost overrun. Here's an example.
I went over the reports but we got a little bit of a cost overrun. Check again and see if you can reduce other expenses. Assessment. It refers to evaluating the project's outcome. Assessment. Here's an example. We would like to have you at the meeting, for the assessment of the project. Alright, I'll be there. Thanks. Let's practice your English. Ready your pen and paper, then try to answer the exercise. Choose the correct answer. I have to go out to meet a client and I need you to discuss the of our new project later. Letter A. Deliverables. Letter B. Budget. Letter C. Assessment. The correct answer is Letter A. Deliverables. I have to go out to meet a client and I need you to discuss the deliverables of our new project later. Okay, let's of this project first before planning. Letter A. In-house. Letter B. Define the scope. Letter C. Cost overrun. The correct answer is. Letter B. Define the scope. Okay, let's define the scope of this project first before planning. I need you to, at 3 p.m., today. Letter A. Deliverables. Letter B. Outsource. Letter C. Assemble the project team. The correct answer is. Letter C. Assemble the project team. I need you to assemble the project team at 3 p.m. today. I'm currently ahead of the. Do you need some help? Letter A. Timeline. Letter B. Cost overrun. Letter C. Define the scope. The correct answer is. Letter A. Timeline. I'm currently ahead of the timeline. Do you need some help? The, for our new project is pretty high, right? Letter A. Outsource. Letter B. Budget. Letter C. Assessment. The correct answer is. Letter B. Budget. The budget for our new project is pretty high, right? As you can see at the back, those are our 
graphic designers. Letter A. Timeline. Letter B. Cost overrun. Letter C. In-house. The correct answer is letter C, in-house. As you can see at the back, those are our in-house graphic designers. We need to some people to get this job done right. Letter A. Outsource. Letter B. Timeline. Letter C. Deliverables. The correct answer is Letter A. Outsource. We need to outsource some people to get this job done right. I went over the reports but we got a little bit of A. Letter A. Budget. Letter B. Cost overrun. Letter C. In-house. The correct answer is. Letter B. Cost overrun. I went over the reports but we got a little bit of a cost overrun. We would like to have you at the meeting for the of the project. Letter A. Timeline. Letter B. Define the scope. Letter C. Assessment. The correct answer is. Letter C. Assessment. We would like to have you in the meeting for the assessment of the project. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Visit us on onestepenglish.com.